Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, find a convex hull, a 3D convex hull or 2D convex hull of, of a given set of uh, points. Here I have this uh, a bunch of spheres scattered randomly in the scene. Uh, what I did is I created a parametric array of one sphere and then I used random controller um, to spread them um, around the um, the origin point within a range of uh, minus 20 to 20. So these are um, these are going to be sort of input to our new parametric node here, which is creating a convex hull over the um, over this bunch of points. Um, to create a convex hull, you go under containers and then you create a parametric mesh. Okay, if you're working with 4.6 uh, or higher version of Para 3D, uh, you get um, different options under the method that you can choose before you get started with the node. Um, uh, here I'm going to choose the uh, convex hull 3D, and then it it gives me um, a, a one channel, which is the uh, the vertex channel, and uh, I can now feed those points into the into the part uh, convex hull node and um, see what it does so let's just rename this to convex hull 3d and um, to get this point here we need a link between these two para nodes so I'm going to create a para link uh, parametric array link so we feed that points into parametric link so we just connect that it automatically set the output what we're trying to reach from from this array is the position of the spheres within that array so we now we can see that this position been listed in this um, list box so I'm just going to check the position and make sure that's highlighted and we leave the lookup function and corresponding item uh, what it uh, essentially does is it looks for each item which is correspond to the um, uh, members within the convex hull, which are the points. Uh, here, the points are uh, is is it, it contains sort of two-dimensional area of points, um, or uh, ten points in one dimension and one point uh, two points in the second dimension. It has to match the the number of points that we are uh, we had uh, in our parametric array here so let's uncheck and see what was the setting so it was 23 and then 1 so that's going to be uh, it has to be the same thing so we're just going to set that 23 and then set this to 1 so what uh, what essentially this does is this finds a sort of mesh that uh, is passing through the most other points of the the set and it contains the rest of points so this is like uh, the smallest envelope that you can you can um, create in order to fit all those points inside that's what we call convex hull so and it's parametric uh, which means that if you go back and then update your random controller it's going to update the parametric array and then scatter the points randomly and these points right uh, right after that this is going to create uh, a new convex hull which is which cro uh, which passes through the most other points and contains the points inside so uh, if you're up to cr uh, find a convex hull of uh, a geometry uh, let's say you have uh, I don't know, let's say t part and I'm just going to reduce the segments a little bit so for this tutorial, so it's going to be faster. So we want to we want to find the convex hull of this object. Uh, so we array again. Go to container, uh, parametric mesh. Choose convex hull 3D, and then um, we need to find how many uh, how many vertices this thing has. So we use a mesh controller for that. I'll pick that mesh, and we're going to go uh, under the object we find um, the output is a scalar output we want, we want to know how many how many vertices are there so it's a scalar value so then uh, as under the output you just search for number of vertices here we go so 
this thing gives us the number of vertices so we can now create an add-on uh, array size that can control the number of vertices within this convex hole so that would be in in the first dimension is uh, uh, the number of vertices within that and then in order to assign the position those uh, of those vertices we need a, we need another copy of this mesh controller which gives us the position of the vertices so we change that to vector because the position is a vector value and uh, we're gonna go under the object and then we find uh, sorry we're gonna go to under vertex we find the actual vertex position so that gives us the vertex position now we have everything set up we just need to update now as you can see uh, it worked but the uh, convex hole is created around this origin point not uh, not exactly on on the teapot and the reason is that the mesh controller here when it works on the editable mesh object it returns the vertex position in local coordinate systems and um, uh, not actual vertex position to solve this problem you can always add edit poly on top of your geometry and then use the editable poly methods to extract the vertex position so we choose editable poly now because now it's converted to editable poly and we can run that again so as you can see the uh, the convex tool now is, is showing how it's wrapped around the teapot and it cross it passes through all the points uh, you just want to check that how many points is there is 138 which is the number of vertices within the teapot uh, these are the vertices of our c my convex hole. We can see. All right. If you want to create a two D, uh, a two-dimensional convex hole, you can go under a container, um, parametric shape. Now again, if you're using uh, 4.6 or high version, you have an option here that tells you if you want to create a convex hole two D, you can you can use that and um, again you here you have like which plane you want to do that it basically um, it's a it's a polyline that wraps around the points in in one plane that you choose and it it contains all the rest of points so we go back to our points and we try to create that polyline that wraps around them um, so exactly what we do is to feed the points again to this 2d convex tool we just rename that con X hold 2D. So, what again we need to do is to to make sure that it has the same number of points here. So it's 23 points, and it's it already worked. So uh, I select the member. I just I just make it renderable in the view so you can you you can see it from the screen. So that's the polyline in XY plane that contains all the points that you can see from the top. So let's hide this one. Here we go. So if you do, if you update that again, so you can see the polyline always uh, passes through the most other points and contains all the rest of points. Um, you can do that in, in front view you just go back here and choose a different plane so now it's working in this plane so you can see always the points are within the polyline so this uh, this is how you create a convex hole 2d and 3d uh, using part 3d um, 4.6 I um, hope you enjoy it if you have any question please feel free to post it on our forum I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.